Welcome to this Photolab video on masking. Now Photolab is a feature found in Serif Draw Plus, Web Plus and Page Plus and it enables you to manipulate images in a variety of ways. Now masking is a way to easily apply any of these filters found in these three tabs up here to selected areas of our image. For example, we've got a lovely photograph of a mongoose here and we could really bring out this orange tinted color in his eyes. So to do that, first of all, we're going to go to adjustments and apply a hue, saturation and lightness filter. And we're going to really bring the saturation up. Now, if we zoom out, uh, you can see applied to the whole image, this is a little excessive. So what we're going to do, having just applied this filter, is we're going to jump straight into Create Mask up here. And at this point, we can then begin painting the areas we want to affect with this filter, like so. Now let's say, oops, I've made a mistake. I went a bit too far. You would then check the Erase Brush option over here and paint over the areas you wish to exclude, like so. Finally, we can click Accept. And as we can see, we've really brought out the color in the eyes whilst leaving the rest of the image untouched. We can see if we turn the preview off down here, we can see what the, the eyes looked like originally. We'll turn the preview back on. And there we have it. So that's one option. So something else we can do is once we've created the mask, we can invert it. And I'll show you where this might be useful. So in this image, we can see this guy is in focus and the background is out of focus, so we've got some nice shallow depth of field going on here. But let's say we want to make the background even blurrier. Well, first of all, we can go to Effects, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we'll increase that slider somewhat. So we've got a nice entirely blurred image at this point. We'll go into Create Mask, and same as we did before, we will simply start painting to create our mask. Another point to note is that you can change the brush size on the fly by using the mouse wheel, like so. Alternatively, you can control it using the size slider up here. Again, we'll just switch to the Erase Brush just to tidy up some of these edges. And once we're happy with our selection, we then click Invert up here. And as we can see, the rest of the image has now been masked. So we'll simply click Accept. And there we have it. We can see the background is now blurrier, but we can also do an AB split preview and see the difference we've made. So original on the left, blurred on the right, and we can also choose to increase the effect, but it's all about finding the right balance. Finally, let's look at gradient masking. Gradient masking creates a smooth transition from the affected area to the non-affected area. So in this image, we're going to make the sky really stand out. Let's do this by going to Adjustments and selecting the Clarity filter. We can then bring the intensity up. And as we can see, we've made the entire image pop. So let's just limit this to the sky. 
Now, another way we can do this, as well as using the top toolbar, is to go to an individual effect, click the fly out, and choose New Gradient Mask. We can then click and drag to create the gradient. So, we'll have the effect taper off over the background. And now that we're happy with that, we'll click Accept. So, if we do a split preview, we can see the before and then the after. In fact, let's pump the intensity up even further and then do a preview. We can see that we're only affecting the top of the image where the sky is. Good so far. But here's another neat trick. Let's say we also want to add another filter but we want to use the same mask. Well, in this case, let's say we want to modify the white balance. We can start dragging the temperature to warm the image up, but we only want to warm the sky up. So, from the flyout, we can then choose New From, and this is the gradient that we've just created for clarity down here. So we'll click this, and it will then copy the exact positioning of that previous gradient. So all we need to do now is click Accept. And there we go, we've now applied two effects to the same gradient area. So we can warm this sky up, or cool it down. So again, split preview, let's look at the before and after. We can see with two filters, we're only affecting the sky area. And that's exactly what we want. So that's a good purpose for gradient masking. Well, that's it for this video. For more information on Photolab and the Serif software it's featured in, you can read the help documentation or check out our Community Plus website. Thank you for watching.